Good morning. We're on um, part number 10, page 73. Um, this one's a little bit trickier. Um, I, I hope that hopefully the parts are getting a little bit more trickier as we um, work through them. Um, I'm looking at this drawing here and I see a top view. This is a section view which really tells me what's going on the inside of the part. And then we have an auxiliary view which gives me like the, the a perpendicular view of this flange face. So, um, excuse me. So the first feature I think we need is this revolve. We're gonna draw this um, casing out of a sorry word, but we're gonna revolve revolve that, and then we could add the holes, all these little mounting holes. And then we could draw one of these um, flange faces and then we could mirror it over to the other side. So um, let's let's give it a go. So I'm going to go file new part. Um, hopefully you're already on millimeters and I'll have a sketch on the front plane and I'm going to get myself some center lines. <clears throat> All right. Okay, let's have a look. Um, I wish I could remember. I definitely don't have a photographic memory, that's for sure. All right, come on now. Maybe something like that. That's stop. I, I don't know if you notice that when you draw a line and you come back to the point, it turns into an arc, which is an, which is nice, um, but I don't need it right now. Something like that, okay. And uh, let's make these two parallel. <clears throat> okay. Now. Um, The distance from here to here is 55. Is that right? Divided by 2. So what I can do is I can go from this line across that line. And what's, what it's going to do is, even though that's 65, we want this to be 55. It's going to scale the, the sketch. Okay, do you see what I just did there? So 55. And then... We just start working through it. The height of that is four, and then from the top to the bottom, the bottom to the top is 35. So we'll go from here to there is 35, and this is four. And um, 15. 23 so from there to there is 15 and let's pull this out a little bit and from there to there this is going to be 23 I think okay um, this th wall thickness I know this sucks me going back and forth but, but I've only won um one monitor that's two um we got the four this is four um all right what's the size of this hole here the hole is 11. so let's put the big dimensions to the outside Fifty five. Now, what's the, the distance there? That's um, so we're making an assumption that this is two, um, four. Yeah, that's that's not good. And then we have this forty 
from that point to point uh, hold on a second where is it it's, it's the t okay so from there across is 40 and then we know this is two well, that really should be called out in the drawing what am i missing here yeah it's nowhere else yeah that's uh, two 15 that's also two so two yeah um here we go now uh, i think that's everything our our sketch is black it's as fully defined um so we'll exit out of this and i'm gonna go revolved my axis of revolution is going to be this guy and it picks it up right away sometimes you might have to come in with this selected contours and now I have my casing, I don't know what the hell it's called, but um, I'm going to create a sketch on this face for the holes. And what is it? This, the, the, um, do you hear Ollie, do you? What's, what's the engine about? Um, 25. <coughs> Um, so this is 50. Our dog just had surgery because I um, I left a box of KFC around and uh, he ate at all the bones and you want to see his belly. It just looked weird. So we brought him to the vet. So um, what size are these holes? 2.5. Two point five, and then how many of them are there? There's um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. What's wrong with him? Is he making? I don't know. Yeah, and then I'll get a circular pattern. Uh, did you give him the pain medication? Yeah. Okay. make this 12 now there's your hole I know I'm, I'm all over the place here um, uh, radius they look a little bit close to the out the edge there for some reason okay I'm gonna have to pause this video here all he's whinging okay um, what's next we need this flange here okay um and it's parallel comes out two from that face okay so we need a face ollie's buddy we need a face that's two millimeters away from that edge there okay now you're going to use a reference plane if I click the face, it, it has some idea what you're trying to do. Um, we got we got to give it a second reference. Um, if I give it this right plane, it's happy. It knows that it needs to be perpendicular to that and on that. Look, I don't even waste my time trying to explain. With, with reference planes, with my students, we ju there's just a lot of practice. And they, they, they start to understand what they need to do. But with planes, you've got to give multiple inputs. So one could be the face. The second could be your front top or right plane. If I click, if I get rid of this right plane and I click on the front plane, it's perpendicular to that. Ollie, shh, shh, shh. come on now. Shh. All right. Um, now, can I make this? No, I'm not even going to waste my time. I'm just going to add another one. Um, so there's that, there's that first plane. And then I'm going to create an offset plane from that of two. And I'm going to right click on this, hide that. And that's my plane that I need. I'm going to create a sketch on here. 
Okay. And I'm going to draw the shape. Ollie, I can't multitask. He's fine. Okay, so I have that. Uh, I'm going to make these two symmetrical and I'm going to draw two circles. Now, what size is that first big circle? It's radius 9 and diameter, so it's 18 and 14. 18. And 14. Now, um, let's have a look. Um, the center of that is 12.75 from that point there. Look at this, lovely. So I'm going to go from there to there is 12.75, like so. And then from center to center, it's 20. And we got the 20. Now, what size is that? These guys are diameter 6 and diameter 2. Diameter 6. And then diameter 2. All right, now what's next? We need, um, I'm nearly done with this. I, I'll play with them in a sec. Um, I need the four curves, which is radius four. Now what I want to do is, I'm thinking I want to trim this. And then if I get an old fillet and I put the four in, I'm being look I'm being lazy doing this another way you could do it is um, a three-point arc but what I'm doing is I'm just using fillets it, it doesn't matter I'm really not even reading what the hell it's saying there um, so that is that my sketch yeah I think it is So what what will I do? I'm gonna go extrude, and I'll flip it up to next. I'm gonna I'm gonna select all of these contours. She's that some. What's wrong with you? Come here, come here. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, mirror this to the other side. That's my flange face but before I do that I'm gonna cut out the holes. I'll just turn these on. Just cut these out. Up to next. Lovely. And then watch this. I'm going to click the right plane. I'm going to go mirror. And I'm just going to mirror both of these to the other side. I think that's it. And I'm going to just turn this, turn this plane off. And turn off the sketch. Okay, let's have a look. Hmm. This is two, okay. So let's take a section of this. Yeah, that's it. Um that's it. 
That's not too bad. Look, sorry for the disturbance, but um, that's part number 10. You want to change the material, and that's it. Okay, I'll, 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 hopefully I'll, I'll have time to do a few more videos uh, tomorrow. All right, take care. Bye.